Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn in place upgrade of SQL Server 2012 to SQL Server 2014. And in this demo, we'll be learning how to install SQL Server 2014 Upgrade Advisor. This is very important. You should always run Upgrade Advisor before you start upgrading your SQL Server 2014. And I have given example right here. There are some features that's not available in SQL Server 2014. And Upgrade Advisor will tell you that you have a conflict and you need to resolve that because you are using uh, some feature that is not available in your code in your SQL Server 2012 code that's not available in SQL Server 2014. So example up here is that uh, if you have used uh, row set feature, row count feature right here for insert, update, uh, and delete, and that needs to be replaced with top because in SQL Server 2014, this is not available. Uh, other thing that we're going to learn in this um, demo is prerequisites of SQL Server 2014 Upgrade Advisor. If you try to install Upgrade uh, advisors 2014 then it's going to tell you that there are prerequisites that needs to be installed first and I'll show you that uh, how to install that basically you need to go on internet and download um, that um, prerequisites and install that before you can go ahead and install 2014 upgrade advisor and finally we will be using our SQL Server media to um, uh, upgrade wizard to upgrade our SQL Server 2012 to 2014 now, before we start, one thing I do wanted to mention, the rollback of um, upgrading in-place upgrades is rebuild the system. So let's say, unfortunately, it didn't work for you and you need to roll back. You need to take the backup of your all system databases and all user databases. In this demo, what I'm going to do is upgrade the SQL Server engine from 2012 to 2014. So what do you need to do? What I need to do is go ahead and uh, take the upgrade uh, take the backup of system databases and my user databases so I have done already I'm assuming that uh, before you um, basically start upgrading you have done that already too because in case we need to do the rebuild it's going to we, we need to have all those uh, system uh, backups system databases backup and user databases backup. So let's go ahead and start installing SQL Server 2014 Upgrade Advisor. For this, you need SQL Server 2014 Media. I already have up here. So I'm going to go ahead and open SQL Server Media right here and run the setup as administrator. And Upgrade Advisor, you will see uh, in planning section once it's open, you'll see that uh, install upgrade advisor and that's what we're going to go ahead and click and install it. So here is the planning section. Right here is install upgrade advisor. Um, just so that you know that uh, it's going to throw us error because uh, I'm uh, intentionally reproducing this error to uh, show you that what kind of uh, prerequisite upgrade advisor um, really need in order for us to install it. And let's go ahead, click on install upgrade advisor. And as you can see, this is the error you will get. Setup is missing prerequisites. And right here is the error. So in order to resolve this error, basically you need to go on internet and download a couple files. Uh, that is one for you know, SQL Server 64-bit and other is SQL Server 32-bit. Uh, so whatever system you're installing, you need to download that. And I'm gonna show you real quick that where that, uh, um, what the file that you need as you can see right here SQL DOM if you uh, go on internet and you just uh, uh, type that error that you got on upgrade advisor this should lead you to download SQL DOM because uh, it has some scripts that SQL server upgrade advisor uses and uh, before if you don't install that it will not install upgrade advisor so let's go ahead and install this All right, uh, this is prerequisite is installed. Let's go ahead and try one more time installing Upgrade Advisor and let's see that if we, um, if we are able to install Upgrade Advisor. As you can see that it didn't give us the error, so we're gonna go ahead and click Next, Accept, and make sure that you install everything on desired hard drive. Click Install. And it doesn't take but a couple minutes to install Upgrade Advisor. 
All right, our upgrade advisor is completed. Let's click finish and let's go ahead and run our upgrade advisor. Here is my SQL Server 2014 upgrade advisor. I'm going to go ahead, right click and run as administrator. All right, there's a nice little interface. Um, first thing we need to do is launch upgrade advisor analyzer wizard. This will go and let us select what exactly we want to upgrade and what we want uh, upgrade advisor to basically look into for us in order to upgrade. So let's click on launch upgrade advisor an uh, analysis wizard. Click next and up here what exactly are you going to upgrade? Are you going to upgrade SQL Server Engine, Analysis Services, Notification Services, Reporting Services, Data transform, Transformation Services, and Integration Services? So we're going to go ahead and click on SQL Server. I'm just doing in this demo the engine. So I'm going to go ahead and click SQL Server. Click Next. And this instance, it should automatically go ahead and pick it up. If you have multiple instances, you need to uh, click on this little arrow and select the instance that you want to upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. If you are using some other um, SQL Server, if you want to use SQL Server um, up here, the user, then you can put the SQL Server user right here. And uh, it should it, that user should be able to connect to SQL Server and look all the configuration. So I would recommend use a user up here which has sysadmin access on SQL Server. So let's go ahead and click Next. And I do want to basically uh, want Upgrade Advisor to go in every database and find conflict for me. Right here, there are uh, options, analyze trace files, analyze SQL batch files. If you have trace files out there and uh, batch files out there, you can go ahead and uh, put click on here and give the path and it'll go ahead and analyze that. Whether that trace file is uh, going to work in SQL Server 2014 or SQL batch file is going to work for uh, work in SQL Server 2014. I do not have any trace files that I want to do or any SQL batch files. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. I don't want to send the report to Microsoft. Click run. And it started analyzing our databases. It is success. Let's go ahead and launch the report. It right here it says no unresolved issues found if there would be any unresolved issue it'll show you right here and it'll tell you that uh, go ahead and resolve those issues before you start upgrading your SQL Server um, SQL Server 2012 to SQL Server 2014 I'm gonna go ahead and close this 